Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, we're going to discuss specifically how to animate lines in DaVinci Resolve. So the first thing we're going to do is to take our Fusion Composition clip here straight to the Fusion page, and let's bring a background note and change the color of the background note to a color that you like. The next thing we're going to do is to bring a Polygon Masking node, which is going to be used to primarily drive line creation. So now let's go ahead and put down two dots on the screen, but before we put down the second one, a good practice here is to hold down the shift key. This is going to ensure the line is straight. So now all we need to do is to break up the border width just a little bit. And as you can see, we have a perfectly straight line. So to animate the line, there are a few things we can do. So the first is to play with the length setting. Another one we can play with is the position setting. But the thing to note about position setting is that you have the ability to take it beyond zero. Uh, so now when we take it to uh, minus one, you can see the line is going to go all the way from the left to the right. Another setting we can play with is shape animation, which automatically keyframes for us. So now the first thing we're going to do here is to change the line to modify only. And then we're going to shorten this line while holding down the shift key. Then come to another part of the video, then bring it out. So this, as you can see, will automatically keyframe for us. And if we replay this right now, you will see that we have a, a pretty basic line animation created. We can also come to Spline Editor and adjust the interpolation uh, between the two keyframes. This will make the animation feel a little bit more refined. Another thing we can play with is line points. So once again, let's put down uh, you know, two dots on the screen. Then let's uh, change it to Modify Only. Then let's select these two points, right click, and then in the menu, let's go to uh, Polyline, and then let's go to Publish, and then select uh, Publish Points. So now, as you can see, uh, the location data for each point is now uh, available to us. But to know which point is which, what we're going to do is to go back to that same menu. And then instead, let's activate uh, Publish Points. So now, as you can see, we can tell which is point zero and which is point one, and you can change uh, the points themselves by changing uh, the uh, data. Uh, now, let's go ahead and copy the y-axis data of point one and then paste it into y-axis of point zero. This will ensure both points are on the same line. And then let's uh, do the same thing for point axis. So now these points are sitting right on top of each other. Then let's uh, change the border width just by bringing it up uh, just a little bit, just a touch. And then let's keyframe point zero at this part of this video. Now let's go to another part of the video and let's keyframe uh, again by bringing out uh, this line and which is essentially changing the X axis of point zero. So now the beauty is that we have this location data available to us. So let's go to shape. And now we're going to bring out end gone and end render node. We're going to create basically a triangle here. So let's change sides to three. Now let's connect this render node to background as a foreground. Uh, so what we're going to do first of all is change the color of this uh, triangle here uh, to a uh, the same color as the line. Now let's go to the merge node. Uh, let's uh, bring down the size setting so that the triangle itself is proportionate to the line itself. And now let's go to the center setting in the merge node, right click and then go to connect to, and then let's connect to the path one position data. So this will ensure that the position of the arrow uh, is always, always locked to the same position as a point zero uh, on the line. Now, just FYI, if you go to uh, the polygon masking node, go to the modifiers tab, this is where you can find out what's the path uh, for uh, point zero on the line. All right, guys, so uh, let's go back to merge node, change angle to 180. This will make sure that the angle, the arrow is pointing in the right direction. Uh, now let's uh, go ahead and bring a spline editor and we're going to change the interpolation for two keyframes for point zero. This is going to impact the arrow as well since they are all locked. Uh, all right, now let's go ahead and create another arrow, another triangle. So let's do that. And then we're gonna go to the size setting in this new merge node, bring down the size so that the uh, triangle is proportionate to the line. Then let's uh, go ahead and keyframe point one instead this time. So let's do that. And then once uh, we have keyframe point one, what we're gonna do is to bring this line out to the other side of the screen. 
Uh, so once that all that is done, you can go back to the modifiers tab and see that now it is path two, 4.1. Uh, so uh, in the merge node, if you go back and then go to the center setting under connect to, we're going to connect to path two position data at this time. So this will ensure the other arrow is locked to that same position as the point one. And if you change the interpolation again, this is going to impact both the point as well as the arrow uh, as well. All right. Now let's switch gears a little and look at how to create a nonlinear line animation. So let's put down four points on the screen. And we're going to select these points, uh, right click in the menu. Let's go to uh, polyline and then go to create and then select a rectangle in the pop up menu. We're going to just select OK for now. So this is going to give us a, a square. So what we can do is to select the left two points and then just hold down the shift key, drag it out. This will give us a rectangle. All right, guys. So now let's uncheck solid, bring up the border with just a touch. And what we can do is to play with the length as well as the position setting here. So as you can see, let's go ahead and first of all, play with um, the uh, length setting. So let's uh, keyframe uh, length setting here. Uh, and then uh, let's go to another part of the video. Let's uh, keyframe again. Let's go back to the previous point, bring down the length setting to zero. So now, as you can see, we have a pretty basic nonlinear line animation. And then we can also uh, play with the position setting as well, uh, you know, uh, to go along with the length setting. But what if we want to add another element? Well, let's uh, once again put down four points on the screen and then let's select all these points and then let's right click in the menu. Uh, let's once again go to polyline, go to create and then let's select ellipse this time. And then let's just select OK and then uncheck uh, solid and then bring up border width just a little bit. So what we're going to do right now is to play with the length setting. Uh, what we want to do here basically is just to show one quarter of the line. Uh, so let's do that. Let's keyframe and put down 0.25. Uh, and uh, so uh, this is going to be the finished uh, line. So let's keyframe that and then let's go to another part of this video. Let's keyframe again. Let's go back to the previous point and then bring this down to uh, zero. All right, so now we have a simple nonlinear line animation. And then what we're gonna do is to basically publish this line path. So to do that, let's right click shape animation here. And then in the menu, we're going to remove actually this line first. And then let's right click once again, and then let's publish this line path information. And then let's go to modifiers tab. You will see that it's uh, there available for us. So let's go to shape and bring out end gun and end render, create a triangle here. Make sure it's three sides and then connect to the background as a foreground and then change the color of the triangle uh, of the arrow to the same color as the line. And now let's go to the merge node, bring down the size of this arrow so that it's fitting for this animation. And now let's go to the center setting. Let's right click in the menu, select a path. This will initiate the path information for this arrow uh, under the modifiers tab. And now let's uh, go to shape animation, right click under connect to let's connect to the polygon path value. This will ensure the arrow is sitting on the same path as the line. And now let's go to uh, path one at displacement setting. Now this is initially uh, automatically keyframe for us, but uh, we can unkeyframe it. But essentially you will see that a changing displacement value is going to animate the arrow for us. So uh, with that said, let's uh, go to the beginning of the video here. We're going to keyframe displacement ourselves and then leave it at zero. Then let's go to the end of the line animation. And then let's go in, uh, let's keyframe displacement again by bringing up uh, to the point where it's uh, sitting at the end of the line. So if you were to replace this uh, right now, you guys will see that uh, this arrow is moving in the same speed as the line. Now, as for the direction of the arrow here, we're going to go to the angle setting. Let's go to connect to and then let's connect to the path one header uh, you know, setting here. This will ensure that the angle is pointing in the same direction as the line animation. All right, perfect. So uh, the next thing we're going to do here is to change the interpolation for the line. But the key thing here is to remember when you animate this, you need to make sure that you understand what's the value for easing and ease out, because we need to make sure that the um, displacement um, setting, uh, when you change the interpolation uh, for the two keyframes, 
it's going to be the same as the value for the others, which is going to be 80 in this case for easing and ease out. So as you see now, when you do that, uh, this is going to ensure the arrow is moving in the same speed uh, as the line. So another thing we can do is to bring a text node. Now let's go to the layout tab and change the type to a path. So this will allow us to draw a path on the screen. So what we're gonna do is to draw a very simple path on the screen, but holding down the shift key. So this will ensure that the lines are uh, perfectly straight. Now let's go back to the text box. We're gonna type in a bunch of dashes. Uh, and then so uh, this will allow us to basically create a dash line. We can also go to the transform tab there, uh, then go change the spacing between each dash. Uh, we can also go to um, the shading tab and then let's go to uh, position and let's go to offset. This will change how the uh, you know dashes are sitting, where the dash is sitting compared to the line path itself. Then uh, most importantly, if we go back to the text tab, the right on setting is going to allow us to animate this line. So. With that said, what we're gonna do is to um, keyframe uh, right on at this point of the video, let's bring end all the way to a start, and then let's go to another part of this video, let's bring the end back up. So now guys, as you can see, uh, we have created a, a pretty basic uh, dash line animation. Now to add another element to this, what we're gonna do is to go back to the layout tab, and then uh, we're going to go to shape animation, right click. Let's once again, remove this uh, path first. And then let's right click again, and then let's publish this path setting. Uh, so now on the modifiers tab, you have this information available. And then let's go ahead and bring once again, end uh, and end render create an arrow. Let's connect it to the text tab as a, a foreground. Let's once again, change the size so that it's fitting for this animation. Uh, so two things uh, we're gonna do. One is let's first of all, uh, go to the settings tab, right click, and then uh, let's go to connect to, you will see that there's nothing there. So we have to go to path, publish the path first, and then go to modifiers tab, go to shape animation, right click, and then connect to uh, the, this uh, text path, connect to the value. So now this arrow is sitting on that same path. And then let's go to path one. Let's once again, uh, use displacement to help us uh, set uh, the uh, animation for this arrow. So what we're gonna do is to just to bring this back to the point where uh, this is at the end of the animation. So it's going to be one in this case. Uh, and now you will see that this arrow is moving in the same speed as that dash line. Now let's go back to the angle setting here. Let's uh, right click and then we're gonna go to connect to and then let's make sure that we connect to the path one heading. Uh, so this will ensure that the arrow is also pointing in that same direction. All right guys, so this is basically it. Uh, a quick look at uh, different ways to create line animation in DaVinci Resolve. I hope this helps and as always, I will see you next time.